Is alkaline water a scam? There are thousands of websites and pyramid schemes hawking $6,000 machines to alkalinize our tap water into miracle healing water. And not just any miracle healing water, but magical miracle healing water. With, no surprise, miraculous properties. One of the supposed greatest health advances in human history. The secret to optimal health and longevity! Exclamation point. Though if you actually scroll down, you'll see the disclaimer that they're not allowed to claim their water will actually do any of these things. Does our water actually help restore the body to a youthful condition? We can't say. The skeptics are skeptical. Alkaline water is described as an incredible fraud foisted on the public by desperate, deluded, glue-sniffing wannabes. Asserting that there's no credible evidence in the scientific literature that there are any particular benefits, it turns out that they're both wrong. A new study found that compared to a control group drinking regular water, young adults drinking about a quart of alkalinized water a day drop their bad cholesterol 10% within two months. That's pretty impressive. And older women may achieve a drop of nearly 15%. That's huge. Even help their blood sugars. If you and your doctor want to give it a try, you can make alkaline water this way, or this way, by adding three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda to a liter or a quart of water. You can save yourself $5,999.99. Now, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, so this would add about a gram of sodium to our daily diet, but sodium bicarb doesn't seem to have the same effect as sodium chloride or table salt. In this study, those drinking the baking soda water had no change in blood pressure, and the other study actually found that they enjoyed a significant improvement in their blood pressure, but your physician will want to keep an eye on it. So alkaline water machines are indeed a scam, but alkaline water itself may not be. Are you in a multi-level marketing MLM or network marketing business? Need advice on how to crush it? Are you struggling to make sales? Can't recruit new people? Do you need a kick up the backside to reach the next level and really achieve financial freedom? Then have no fear. You just need to follow a mentor and do what they say. In MLMs, these mentors may call themselves coaches or trainers. But here I'm going to refer to them as mentors. Some are small scale existing behind a Facebook page or website. Some are better known with books and appearing on stage at MLM events. If you are new to MLMs or new to watching MLMs with a critical gaze, then you may not realize that in the shadows of the shadow industry is a bolt on coaching industry which can be much more lucrative than being an MLM distributor. In this video, I want to concentrate on how the high-profile mentors operate. What is an MLM mentor? If you are acquainted with MLMs, then you have most likely come across a mentor. These are the people who many MLM participants hail as demigods. They are people who are said to have started with nothing, but through hard work and dedication, have risen to the top of the respective MLM and beyond. To call themselves gurus for the whole industry. They are the people you have probably seen on Facebook videos or mentioned as highly important people in the MLM industry. They are the men and women who waltz onto MLM event stages, well dressed, with pearly white teeth, oozing confidence, and with big stories to tell. A mentor's mission is simple 
to help people achieve financial freedom through their continued participation in the MLM industry. For a price, you can even join their exclusive groups and be personally mentored to become the next big earner in your MLM. A mentor's main way of communicating is by hosting live videos on their social media pages and being hired to speak at live events. While this all sounds good in theory, as with everything associated with the multi-level marketing, there is a lot of smoke mirrors and many red flags. At best, I found their training tactics ethically questionable and at times downright slimy. Here is the first two of 10 things I learned from listening to and watching mentors on the social media and YouTube platforms. As is common in MLM circles, mentors like to keep reminding participants that they are business owners on an entrepreneurial journey to potential greatness. In reality, participants are part of a scheme where their advancement is dependent upon their ability to build a large downline who will continually purchase product. With those at the bottom of the system struggling to sell products to real customers outside the scheme, the real consequential decisions that decide the direction of the business are made at boardroom level by salaried executives. The issue is that if participants are indeed business owners, then they will have statutory obligations to follow in line with their national laws. This may include duties such as registering the business, filing and auditing accounts, and paying tax. Whether it is a registered business, part of a franchise, or a sole proprietorship makes no difference there are still obligations that will need to be met. Mentors with the MLM industry never discuss these issues with their events or in their events. A vital objective for a business owner is to also ensure that their business is profitable and able to withstand future risk. Alarmingly, money is likewise never spoken about by mentors unless they are talking about seven to six figure earners as examples of success. Apparently, according to one mentor, the mission is more important than the commission and the bigger goal is to help change people's lives rather than you know make money. Not once ever as a mentor I listen to ever encourage a participant to do something as basic as keeping an income versus outgoing spreadsheet. On the contrary, they seem more intent on distracting participants away from the financial side of business and on other issues instead. So if they are not giving advice on common business issues and finances as a business mentor would do in any other industry, then what exactly do they talk about? When you listen to a mentor, it is only a matter of time before you will hear them say something like, let me tell you a story about, or this reminds me of the time that, and so on. Mentors will tell a story about a problem they may have encountered and overcome, or an inspirational story involving a successful person, or even themselves. There may even be a moral behind the story, but in pure practical business terms, it serves very little purpose. The use of stories is important for mentors because this is an effective way for them to build an emotional connection with their audience. As mentioned previously, a popular story for the mentors is their own rags to riches story of how they started at the bottom of an MLM and made their way up to success. This makes them sound relatable to their clients or audience. The more emotional a story is, the better it is for the mentors to keep their clients hooked in the performance. This is why 
particularly during grand stage events. They sound much more like motivational speakers or even evangelical, even evangelical preachers rather than business experts. Why would you want to invest in a business you don't know much about? A business that is secretive. A business that will not tell you everything. A business that will withhold information from you. A business with so many red flags. Why would you want to do that? Why? It really pains me to see vulnerable people spend their hard-earned cash on businesses that they are not clear on. Businesses where mentors and coaches are lying to you, deceiving you, enriching themselves, targeting poor countries, targeting people who are struggling, targeting moms, telling them, oh, you can quit your job, or you can work from home, or you can make five and six figures per month. And at the same time, they will never show you any kind of income proof. They boast about their downline members. They would even give you specific figures. They boast about their community members, how many members in their community. But yet, they cannot tell you exactly how many of those members are making money. They will tell you, oh, they are changing thousands of lives. But how are they changing those lives? Why is it that so many people losing money? Look at the comments. Why? Guys, why do you waste your money like that? Why is it that you spend your money and then you go and do research? Research should be the very first thing. It's very important for you to do research. It's really painful that these multi-level marketing industries, you know, they are just creating havoc, creating debt. People, people are in debt because of these questionable, dodgy businesses. When is it going to stop? When is the FTC going to step in and put a stop to these scammers? these deceivers is yet for us to see.